the five entry level roles that will earn you six figures now there is a massive blind spot in the job market right now while tech headline focus on ai and software development an entire sector of cyber security sits with thousands of unfilled positions not because the jobs don't pay well not because they require impossible skills but because most people don't know how to take advantage of opportunities like this in 2025 the cyber security talent gap isn't in coding or hacking it's in GROC, governance, risk and compliance. The demand for these roles is growing three times faster than the overall job market. If you're serious about breaking into cybersecurity this year, then you should hit that subscribe button right now. Because in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to reveal the five entry-level GROC roles that can launch your cybersecurity career, even if you have zero technical background. And for each role, I will break down number one, what the job actually involves day to day number two the five key skills needed to succeed number three the specific certifications that matter most and number four realistic salary expectations at each level and five how to make your existing experience relevant just imagine missing out on a ninety thousand dollar job because you didn't know where to start so if this is already sounding valuable take a second to hit that like button and subscribe it helps more people discover this information and tells youtube this is the kind of content you want to see more of before i show you the five jobs you need to know what grc is and why it has become the most accessible entry point into cyber security you most likely already know that grc stands for governance risk and compliance right so let's keep to understanding how it affects companies think of it this way companies have tons of valuable data customer info company secrets financial records these are very critical to the operation of any organization and there are three major threats they face hackers trying to steal it government rules about how to protect it and their own employees accidentally leaking it the problem however is that all those fancy security tools like firewalls only help with the first threat they do nothing for the other two and that's where grc comes in in 2023 marriott hotels was fined 23.8 million dollars for gdpr violations not because they were hacked but because their data protection procedures were not properly documented and implemented a classic grc failure they had invested millions in technical security but neglected the governance and compliance side of things in the same way companies are losing millions because they don't have enough grc experts and that's why these jobs are wide open right now but unlike technical cyber security jobs grc roles value skills you might already have from other jobs like good communication attention to details problem solving project management experience in regulated industries and your ability to learn quickly i've seen people from all kinds of backgrounds accounting healthcare retail customer service move into groc roles in as little as 36 days the question is how because grc is the bridge between technical security and business operations back to our entry level list role number one is grc analyst grc analysts are like security detective they find the risk check if rules have been followed and they help protect company data your daily job would include number one looking for security risk that could hurt the company two checking if the company is following rules like gdpr or hipaa three setting up controls to prevent security problems four writing report for managers about risk and compliance and five helping create security risk and number six working with it teams on security requirements now to do well in this job you need five main skills first is analytical skills you need to spot patterns in problems and problems in data second basic knowledge of frameworks like nist or iso 27001 don't worry i will tell you how to learn this okay third communication skills you need to explain complex things in simple terms fourth attention to detail small mistakes in compliance can cause big problems and fifth problem solving skills 
finding issues and creating solutions. This is how to get this job with no experience. You need these two certifications. Contia Security Plus and ISC2 certified in cybersecurity. Most importantly, if you have CISA or CRISC. This show employers you understand the basics and you can get them in 60 to 90 days with focused study. And as for pay, entry level GRC analysts they make between $65,000 to $25,000 depending on where you live. You will make even more in big cities like New York, San Francisco and also depending on factors like the industry or organization you're in. When writing your resume for this role, you want to highlight any experience with analyzing data, writing reports, or following rules, even from other jobs. If you've had to explain complex topics to people, mention it as well. These transferable skills matter more than technical experience. Let's move on to role number two. And number two is compliance specialist. If you're good with details and you like making sure rules are followed, this job is perfect for you. Compliance specialists, they make sure companies follow rules and regulations about data protection. Companies need this expert badly because breaking rules like GDPR can cost them millions in fines. For big companies, the fines can reach billions. So your everyday task for this role would include creating compliance policies, checking if rules are being followed, keeping up with new laws and regulations, training employees on compliance, investigating compliance problems, and preparing reports for regulators. And the five key skills you need are as follows. Understanding of regulations like GDPR, IPA, or PCI DSS. Great attention to detail. Missing something in compliance can be costly. Organizational skills to handle multiple projects at once. Audit skills to thoroughly check for compliance gaps good communication skills to train others effectively. Let me share a secret advantage with you. If you have worked in healthcare, finance or insurance or government, you already have a head start because you understand regulated industries. Let's talk about the certifications. The certifications that help mostly are certified compliance and ethics professional or certified regulatory compliance manager or CISA or CISM as well. This doesn't mean this are the only certifications you can have for this role but these are the most helpful especially if you're trying to save on cost let's talk about salaries starting salaries range between 60 to 80 thousand dollars but here is what is great about this role compliance specialists they often move up quickly to management because they understand both security and business now many reach hundred thousand dollars within just one to two years so when applying for this particular role, you definitely want to highlight any experience with regulations, creative policies, or handling compliance issues. Even from different fields, this experience is valuable to employers and may even help you move up the career ladder faster. Okay, now let's talk about role number three, entry level cybersecurity risk manager. This role requires you to think ahead about what could go wrong with data security and then make plans to prevent problems. Entry-level CRMs are always asking what could go wrong and then figuring out how to prevent it. You will help companies avoid big security disasters by finding weaknesses even before hackers can use them. Basically, your main responsibilities would be finding cybersecurity risk across the company, gathering data to assess how likely and harmful threats are, ranking risk based on how dangerous they are, creating plans to reduce those risks, checking if risk strategies are working, and then writing risk reports for leadership. To succeed well as a risk manager, you need strong analysis skills for understanding data, you need knowledge of common cybersecurity threats, also familiarity with risk framework like NIST, also problem solving skills to develop ways to reduce risk and finally, and very importantly, communication skills to explain risk to executives. If you have worked in finance, insurance, project management, or any job involving risk assessment, these skills directly apply 
to cybersecurity risk management. You will definitely need certifications, right? And my top recommendations are Comptia Security Plus to start and C-Risk. That is certified in risk and information systems control as you gain experience, okay? So, how much can you earn in this role? Well, entry-level risk managers earn between seventy dollars to $90,000 on average. And with a few years of experience, you can easily move up to one twenty dollars to $150,000. Now, when applying for this role, the edge you need is to showcase any experience with risk assessment methods or tools, and then show that you understand how to identify threats and vulnerabilities, even from other industries. Okay. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget, we're talking hands-on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving task, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Hiring managers, the value these transferable skills, and if you have them properly highlighted on your resume, you are already looking like the right candidate. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button. And while you do that, let's move on to the next role. Role number four, information security analyst. This is the most technical of these entry level roles but don't let that scare you. While it's more technical, you don't need an IT background to break in. I'm telling you, many successful analysts come from non-technical fields by gaining hands-on experience. And they do that with security tools like Splunk, Nessus, and Wireshark, and then earn certifications like Security Plus, and then build a solid portfolio of real-world projects. Information security analysts watch over networks. They respond to security incidents and they implement security measures. And in this role, your daily task would include monitoring networks for security breaches, responding to security incidents, checking for system vulnerabilities, setting up security controls like firewalls, creating security policies, and working with IT teams on security. And the five essential skills that you will need for this role are knowledge of network security technology, familiarity with security frameworks like NICS, troubleshooting skills, to be able to fix security issues. Analytical skills, you need that to review logs and spot problems. And you need communication skills to report incidents and work with teams. Like I said before, this role typically needs more of a technical background than others. A degree in computer science or IT helps, but it's not always required. If you have the right certifications like Security Plus CEH and eventually CISSP are your goals, okay? Now, for salaries, entry-level information security analysts earn between $65,000 to $5,000. The growth potential is also fantastic because with three to five years experience, you can easily make $110,000 plus. And when applying, you must highlight any experience with security tools or technologies, okay? Show your understanding of security frameworks and incident response. Even if you learn it through training rather than work, we are now at role number five, and this is the role of the virtual CISO. Even as a beginner, you have most likely heard about the role of a CISO, right? Which stands for Chief Information Security Officer. This is typically a high-level executive job, but there's a new trend, virtual CISOs, who provide strategic guidance to smaller companies that can't afford a full-time security executive. Now, as a virtual CISO, you 
You give strategic advice on cybersecurity policies and practices. You are basically a security consultant helping companies develop projection strategies. Your job will typically include providing strategic guidance to small and medium businesses, developing comprehensive security strategies, ensuring compliance with regulations, conducting high-level risk assessment, delivering awareness training, overseeing security implementations, and also being the link between the company and security vendors. To succeed as a virtual CISO, you need a knowledge of cybersecurity frameworks and compliance requirements. You also need to have leadership skills to influence decision makers, okay? Also, analytical abilities to assess complex security challenges and business understanding to align security with company goals and great communication skills to explain security concepts to executives. I need to be honest here, this is typically a senior role. However, entry-level opportunities are emerging, especially in smaller companies and through consulting firms that provide virtual CISO services to multiple clients. So I think it's worth giving a try. If you will be taking a shot at this role, I'll suggest you have certifications like CompTIA Security Plus to start with, right? And CISM, okay, as you gain more experience. Now, as for what you can earn in this role, entry-level virtual CISO positions typically start around seventy-five dollars to $90,000. But the ceiling is very high. And when I say high, I mean very high. Experienced virtual CISOs earn up to $200,000 and many even run their own consulting businesses, earning even more. When applying for this particular role, okay, you need to highlight any experience that you have developing strategies or leading initiatives. You want to show on your understanding of compliance requirements and business operations. Remember, I said you would be functioning in a role similar to that of a CISO. So your leadership and communication abilities are most important here. And guys, those are the five GLC roles on my list. But now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. What if you have zero cybersecurity experience? First, certifications are your fastest path, okay? CompTIA Security Plus and ISC2 certified in cybersecurity should be your immediate goals. They are respected, entry level, and you can get them within two to three months of dedicated study. Secondly, Highlight your transferable skills, communication, attention to detail, problem solving, project management, experience in a regulated industry, or quick learning. All these skills matter in GRC. Third, structure your resume strategically. And what do I mean by that? Put certifications at the top. Write a powerful two to three sentence introduction, right, about your skills and what you do. Focus on task-related security, risk, compliance, analysis, or teamwork, and include hands-on labs and projects as experienced, okay, that you have. Highlight relevant coursework and use keywords from job postings. Fourth, network aggressively. Join LinkedIn groups, attend virtual meetups, connect with recruiters who specialize in cybersecurity, and then finally, apply apply, apply. Cybersecurity has a 0% unemployment rate. The numbers are in your favor. And don't get discouraged by rejections. They're just part of the process, okay? Now, let me wrap this up with three important facts. Fact number one, the cybersecurity industry is growing 33% over the next decade. That's three times faster than most jobs. Fact number two, cybercrime is costing the world $12.3 trillion every year by 2026. Fact number three, companies take 96 days on average to fill a cybersecurity position. That's more than twice as long as most other jobs. These five GRC roles I've shown you are not just jobs. They are the opportunity to the six-figure careers you've been looking for. I've seen people go from zero cybersecurity experience to their first job offer with this same information you now have. So, what's your next move going to be? Tell me about them in the comment section. And if you find this video helpful, you will love my other video where I did a breakdown on certifications to show the ones you shouldn't waste your money on. The link should be in the description below. And I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.